Hey, this is Dan DeLuca coming to you from my front porch in Eugene, Oregon. And today is the first of a multi-part series on email marketing. And I honestly don't know how many parts this is going to be. So just uh, subscribe to the playlist and you'll get them. You'll get them all. So today I want to give uh, just some foundational thoughts about email marketing. You know, there's a couple different ways you can do it. You can you can just market in such a way that you want people to click your links and go check out your stuff and buy it. However, uh, there's another way, and that way is really to build a relationship with the people on your list. And what I've found and what I've ta been taught by the people that uh, I follow is building a relationship where people really uh, get to know who you are, they trust you, and they might even like you, is a much more effective way to actually sell stuff and um, and gain followers and and be successful, really. And, and the, the upside of that is you don't need a large list when you have trust with your list. Uh, a small list uh, can uh, be profitable. So here's some basic thoughts to go into with uh, email marketing. So we really want to uh, uh, go into writing an email, every email, with uh, the thought of uh, how are we going to, excuse me, how are we going to positively influence and impact our readers? How are we going to change their life for the better? Um, that's a, uh, you know, if we go into writing every email with that thought, with that intention, um, I think you'll have a better success. I mean, when, just think about the emails that you read, the lists that you subscribe to. Who has emails that you continue to read over and over? Who has links that you click because you like them, because you trust them, and because what they've provided in the past has actually been useful and, um, and or informative or, you know, helped you out, like changed your life. You can use your emails to gain trust and build relationships, and that really should be the purpose, not so much to sell. Of course we want to sell. Of course we want to send people to our, our blog or, or other places where we have other content, However, how do we do that by building trust and actually creating a relationship uh, with our, our readers? Uh, there's a difference between just copywriting and leadership. And the difference is the intention that you bring behind that communication, the intention you have with your communication. Are you just copywriting to get them to click a link? Or are you actually telling a story or uh, leading by example and uh, helping people out. So the intention that you bring to your communication is critical here. And it's, it's critical to actually developing a relationship of trust. So um, a way to look at this is uh, consider that you your list, uh, everybody on your list is sitting in a stadium, a large stadium. And the people that really like you and know you, they're they're like in the in the front rows, they're closest to you. And the new people, the people that don't know you very well, are up in the back. They're up in the bleachers, they're up in the nosebleed seats. And what you what you want to do is fill the front rows, right? And uh, the way that you do that is is this. Consider that every time you get a new subscriber to your email list, you've opened a new account, a trust account with a new person and there's nothing in that uh, when you first start how do you deposit make deposits of trust to that account well it's by providing value and providing service and showing the readers showing your subscribers that you're not just sending them to links to try to buy something it's uh, or try to sell them something you're actually providing value every time you provide value you're making a deposit in the trust account every time and consider that every time you do send them to a link to an offer you're actually making a withdrawal and the deal is this it's you must be making deposits way more than you're making withdrawals 
So that is uh, what I want to leave you with in this video. So check, look for part two, and uh, if you're and subscribe to this playlist, subscribe to this video, and find me on Facebook. And um, if you want to see how I do it, please join my email list, and you can do that by going to dandeluca.com slash newsletter and subscribing right there. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to uh, hearing from you in the future, and look for my next, uh, the next installment of this coming up in a day or two. Thanks.